In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can export a 3D Studio Max file to a format that we can use in Blender. So from 3D Studio Max to Blender. Now to export the entire scene, we can just go to File, Export, and select the folder where you want to export it, and then select the format. Now in this case, I've tested some of these formats, and you can use OBJ, you can use also the XF or GLTF, which is open source, like Blender. But um, for this video, I'm going to use FBX. I think that FBX usually works the best or better than the others. So you select Autodesk FBX format and give the name to your scene that you want to export. So it's um, pretty simple, but I'm also going to show you a couple of extra tips that can be useful. So. This is the latest version of 3D Studio Max using Arnold Renderer. So this scene that you see in the background, this is from the 3D Studio Max video course and also Arnold Renderer that you will find in the channel. Now you have some presets here for the export if you want. Otherwise, you can just customize. You can choose to export geometry, animation, cameras and uh, lights and also audio if you have uh, some audio file inside the the file and so you, you have all these options here you can go through here in the fbx file format you can go for binary and uh, that's okay now you can export the the whole scene if you do export and you can see here there are like many issues because some of the geometry that you can generate in 3d studio max like objects or people and animated people, things like that. So not everything you can do in um, 3D Studio Max will be available then in um, in uh, Blender, especially Arnold. I think that Arnold lights and Arnold stuff like materials and things like that, they don't really work in Blender. Now, another thing you can do is to export selected once you select everything. And one tip you can try is to convert everything into editable mesh or editable poly because Blender is is essentially a 3D modeler and 3D renderer that works with 3D polygonal geometry. So convert everything and then re-export. So I'm gonna call this mesh to distinguish from the previous one. And also take time to uh, address the smoothing groups, the uh, multi-materials and things like that, and wrap mapping. Now, all these topics are covered in the 3D Studio Max video course. Now, you can see here, I have like less warnings when I export. So probably it's gonna be better when I import it into Blender. So let's go into Blender and you can also check our Blender video course if you're interested in Blender and you wanna switch from uh, like 3D Studio Max to open source and free software. So you can download, install Blender, really easy and you will find a video guide also for this and if you have issues write in the comments ask for assistance make your questions and so on so i'm gonna delete with the delete button the original starting cube there and i'm, go I'm gonna go to import fbx format and navigate into the folder where i exported my scene my 3d studio max scene so i manage all my folders, I organize everything to not to get lost. So in this case, I, I created a folder in my 3D Studio Max video course folder where I have saved, stored the various export tests. So I'm gonna use the, the mesh. So I'm gonna use the second one that I exported, the this one here and convert it into mesh because I think it's gonna work better than the standard. So I always try to do that pass before you you export to have like less issues, but you're always gonna have issues. It's really difficult and rare to, to have everything automatically set up for you. So you need to know how to use Blender. You need to know how to fix geometries, polygonal models, materials, lights, and so on. But there you go. So you can see that right here, we do have geometry. So we have smooth geometry, like the terrain, as well as the 
art architecture geometry the building there it looks fine and we have the lights but they don't look as lights so probably we need to convert all these Arnold objects Arnold lights we need to recreate them here in uh, Blender using Blender lights and this is something that usually happens when you change the, the render engine and Blender has its own render engine so if we go in the shading in the fourth sphere there on the top right we can switch from standard view to renderer so we can start to see you can see here some effects some light some materials and also some textures so you can see that some of the materials that we exported have been recognized by blender and others not but we need to run a, a render a more accurate render to test everything but usually when you see that is uh, purple uh, color that's it's meaning that it means that uh, the, the material is not there and you can see i can start to play around with the light with the only light that i have that's from from blender actually so this is because i've used arnold lights not standard lights from 3d studio max which probably could be recognized by the other software and this is this one here is a camera and I believe also this one here is the original camera from Blender. So I don't see any 3D Studio camera so far. So what we see here, it's also a little bit of animation, but it's not as uh, good as in uh, 3D Studio Max. You can see those people moving like uh, strangely, so they don't really they are not animated properly but this is because this is populate tool it's another 3d studio max tool so again some works something works something works less we are we have in some missing materials here some missing pieces that we need to reconstruct we need to rebuild we need to develop here in blender but if you know how to use blender it's really easy to create all of that stuff like lights materials and also animate uh, characters or bring in imports from different sources, different characters and so on. Now you can see we also have an interior here and we have those chairs with ha which have uh, unwrap mapping and also models uh, from Polyaven and other websites, other sources. So if you're interested, just check the video courses and you will find everything you need. This is just a quick video guide to show you how easy it is to move from 3D Studio Max to Blender freely open source. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to show us a little bit of support or an application, you can just join the channel as a supporter. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.